He is, quite simply, the McCann's man. Good morning, uh, I'm Clarence Mitchell. He announced his appointment as the McCann's spokesman outside the family home in Rothley last September. The former BBC reporter left his job as a senior government media official to join them. His salary is paid by one of the McCann's wealthy supporters. Clarence Mitchell says the McCanns are still struggling to cope with life in the goldfish bowl. They literally cannot move anywhere beyond Rothley without somebody somewhere thinking, oh, there might be some money in this, I'll call it into a newspaper, and then I get calls. Um, I've walked into restaurants with them when the whole place has effectively gone silent, everybody stops and looks up and realises who they are. It is very difficult for them now. Um, Kate particularly doesn't like it. Um, they are recognisable and re get recognised and it's, it causes a stir for whatever reason wherever they go now and that's very hard to deal with. It's a story that seemingly mesmerised the media and the public alike. Some newspapers think that if they offer hundreds of thousands of pounds they'll get access to Madeline's bedroom for instance for a photograph in the bedroom or even more money for Kate hopefully crying in the bedroom. It is just mawkish emotional guff. We've been offered several million pounds for complete access to the family when Madeline is found alive and well. Well, if Madeline's are found alive and well tomorrow, Kate and Jerry will have far more to deal with than worrying about a newspaper throwing money at it. When the media firestorm breaks, Clarence Mitchell is the man the McCanns turn to, like the day of the leaking of their statements to the Portuguese police. How do you think a family who've lost their daughter and trying to find her could cope with all of this attention on, in these terms? They can't. I'm doing my best. It's just me. You know, I hope, I hope it's helping because that's, that's what I'm here for. His job is to come out fighting for them when the time's right. He's already helped to win an apology and half a million pounds payout for the Find Madeline Fund from a newspaper group. Now he's warning that the McCann's reputation could be defended again. There are other forums and chat rooms which are totally um, free-for-all and I'm afraid they're a real cesspit of speculation, innuendo, and downright defamation. Uh, our lawyers are aware of that. I'm aware of it. Uh, there are ways and means of dealing with that too, and if we need to, we will there as well. Massive interest as the McCanns launched their campaign for a Europe-wide alert system for missing children. They were at the European Parliament in Brussels. The campaign was featured in a documentary. ITV made a £10,000 donation to the Find Madeline Fund to help the McCanns. They've also enlisted the help of Hello Magazine. Now, the magazine has agreed to do a series of reports over the next year on the Amber Alert idea. No money has been paid to the McCanns and no donation has been made to the Find Madeline Fund. But media savvy Clarence Mitchell says this magazine, with its Spanish links, could help to spread the McCanns' message across Europe. Mike O'Sullivan, East Midlands Today.